Picture this, the flickering glow of a vintage television set, the anticipation in the air as you settle into your favorite spot on the couch. The year is 1979, and a new TV series is about to grace the screen, inviting you into a world of drama, intrigue, and unforgettable characters. This is your first encounter with Knott's Landing, a show that would etch its mark into the annals of television history. Do you remember that moment? The excitement of discovering a fresh storyline, the curiosity about the lives of the seemingly ordinary residents of a Southern California cul-de-sac, and the twists that kept you coming back for more. It was a time when television had the power to transport us to a realm where every emotion was amplified, where we laughed, cried, and held our breaths in unison with the characters on screen. Maybe you recall the captivating performances of the cast, their chemistry that felt almost palpable through the screen. Or perhaps it was the unexpected moments that left you talking for days, the shocking revelations, the relationships that blossomed and shattered, and the bonds that held the community together amidst all the turmoil. As we dive into the captivating world of Knott's Landing, let's unravel some random facts about the show that may surprise even the most dedicated fans. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the impact it had on shaping television narratives, there's a treasure trove of information waiting to be discovered. So, fasten your seatbelt as we journey back to that era of shoulder pads, big hair, and endless possibilities. And now, let's shine a light on some intriguing aspects of the show, shedding light on its creation, evolution, and lasting influence. Join me as we explore the hidden gems of Knott's Landing bringing to the forefront those tidbits that make the series all the more fascinating. 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 Overview, Knott's Landing, a television series that premiered in 1979, is a beloved drama that captivated audiences with its engrossing narratives and well-drawn characters. Serving as a spin-off from the popular show Dallas, it carved its own niche in the television landscape. Set in a California coastal community, the series delved into the complex lives of its characters, highlighting personal struggles, relationships, and the pursuit of dreams. Iconic characters, the show boasted a cast of iconic characters, including the resilient Valene Ewing, the tenacious Karen Fairdate, the charismatic Gary Ewing, and the enigmatic Abby Cunningham. Their intertwining stories and evolving dynamics formed the core of the series, resonating with viewers through their relatability and emotional depth. Unique style, what set Knott's Landing apart was its focus on character-driven storytelling against the backdrop of suburban life. The show deftly balanced drama, romance, and suspense, delving into intricate interpersonal relationships while also addressing relevant social issues. This unique blend of elements allowed it to stand out in an era dominated by flashy primetime soap operas. Impact on popular culture, Knott's Landing left a significant impact on popular culture by popularizing the concept of spin-offs and showcasing the longevity and success such ventures could achieve. Its nuanced exploration of human emotions and challenges made it a relatable experience for viewers. The show's portrayal of strong female characters and its willingness to tackle taboo subjects contributed to its cultural significance. Random facts about the show, the series ran for an impressive 14 seasons, concluding in 1993. Michelle Lee, who portrayed Karen Fairgate, directed several episodes, adding to the show's behind-the-scenes talent pool. The character Abby Cunningham, portrayed by Donna Mills, is often remembered as one of television's most memorable villains. Knott's Landing tackled issues like infidelity, addiction, and domestic abuse, contributing to its reputation for realism and depth. In conclusion, Knott's Landing remains a testament to the enduring power of character-driven storytelling within the realm of television drama. Its ability to capture the intricacies of human relationships, and the challenges of everyday life continues to resonate with audiences, ensuring its place in television history. In history. In history. In history. In, his in 1979, the television landscape welcomed the gripping drama Knott's Landing into its fold, captivating audiences with its intricate web of relationships and secrets. Amidst the cast's dynamic interactions and compelling storylines, a lesser-known connection brings a surprising twist to the narrative. Before taking on their iconic roles in Knott's Landing, Kevin Dobson and Joan Van Ark found themselves collaborating on a different stage. Dobson and Van Ark shared the screen in an episode of Kajak. Van Ark assumed the role of a female detective joining the team, much to the chagrin of the titular Kajak. 
Little did they know that their paths would cross again in a series that would define an era of television. As the drama continued to unfold in the world of Knott's Landing, a unique divergence from its parent series Dallas set it apart. In 1985, a pivotal phone call reached Gary Ewing, delivering the devastating news of his brother Bobby's demise. However, the producers of Dallas would later recon Bobby's death, attributing it to a dream of Pam Ewing's, leaving audiences bewildered. In a bold move, Knott's Landing chose not to align itself with this twist, opting to remain unburdened by Bobby Ewing's perplexing resurrection. This deliberate detachment showcased the series' commitment to its distinct narrative integrity. Transitioning to the third season, Don Murray's departure from the show created ripples of speculation. While some sources suggest a contract dispute led to his exit, others indicate his desire to pursue other projects. This departure, whatever its true origin, marked a shift in the ensemble cast, reinforcing the show's ever-evolving nature. Knott's Landing, a series characterized by its interwoven characters and intricate storytelling, etched its mark on television history. Amidst the drama, these lesser-known tales of collaboration, creative choice, and departure enrich the legacy of a show that continues to capture the imagination of audiences. And so, the saga of Knott's Landing stands as a testament to the complexities of the human experience. On and off the screen, off the screen, off the screen. Knott's Landing, behind the scenes of an iconic series in the glittering realm of 1979 television, Knott's Landing emerged as a drama of entangled lives and seaside allure. Amid the pristine environs of Lotus Point Country Club, a tale of love, intrigue, and societal veneer unfolded. Yet, the real-world backdrops of this fictitious enclave harbored secrets as intriguing as the show itself. The Lotus Point Country Club, a nexus for the characters' social lives, bore its own duality. As cameras rolled, the on-screen elegance was brought to life not in a distant Hollywood realm, but within the storied confines of MGM Studios in Beverly Hills, California. Strikingly, the very same locale bore another identity to that of the Salishan Spa and Golf Course, nestled in Glenadon Beach, Oregon. A journey spanning 944 miles from Granada Hills, California, the site's distant ties underscored the magic of television's illusion. However, amid the cast's interwoven lives, an unexpected narrative thread emerged, the tale of Karen's kidnapping. Actress Michelle Lee's real-life haircut mandated an on-screen alteration, adding a layer of authenticity to the character's turmoil. A symbolic gesture, the loss of Karen's locks echoed the series' knack for blending reality and fiction. Yet, perhaps the most enigmatic strand was the show's name itself. David Jacobs, the creator, confessed to the title's serendipitous genesis. Rooted in the notion of Paulo's Verds, a peninsula adorned with cul-de-sacs, the name landing beckoned to locales cradled by oceanic arms across the nation. Knots, a wry nod to marital intricacies, lent the title its distinctive charm. In the end, Knott's Landing stood not just as a captivating drama, but a web of hidden connections. The Lotus Point Country Club's facade belied its true identity, while Karen's sheared locks unveiled a touch of reality. Behind it all, David Jacobs' title winked at the intricate bonds of marriage. In the world of 1979 television, the allure lay not just in the narrative, but in the enigma woven into every frame, to every frame. Every frame. In a television landscape marked by fleeting success, the 1979 TV series Knott's Landing emerged as a resilient outlier, defying the ebb and flow of ratings' fortunes, outlasting its contemporaries and consistently securing a spot in the top 40 ratings. The show's longevity was a testament to its allure. However, as its 14th season dawned, a cloud of finality loomed. Network executives and producers engaged in a mutual accord, determining that this season would draw the curtain on the series. The rationale, the budgetary constraints were tightening, and further episodes demanded deeper cuts. To salvage the series' swan song, a decisive strategy was conceived. Fewer episodes would grace the screen in the farewell season, and an unconventional prescription was penned for the cast. Absences from select episodes would be mandatory, an austere measure to salvage funds. Amid this financial chess game, a gallant move emerged from Michelle Lee. Her valorous decision to forsake her usual salary and embrace union scale pay allowed her to appear in episodes that brimmed with finality. As the curtain closed, she stood alone in an extraordinary achievement, the sole actress to grace all 344 episodes. 
Behind the scenes, metamorphoses and resurrections stirred intrigue. Characters met their scripted demise, only to reemerge in a new skin. Lisa Hartman Black and Stacy Galena, two talents intertwined in a web of resemblance, wove their characters' rebirths with an uncanny resemblance. Death was a mere intermission, an artistic contrivance to unveil fresh personas. Amidst the cast's fluctuations, a steadying force materialized in the form of Kevin Dobson. His character became the answer to a post-Don Murray conundrum, a puzzle of narrative continuity. The producers, resolute in their vision, let Michelle Lee's character bask in the glow of singledom for a year. The final piece of the puzzle arrived with Dobson's entrance as Lee's second on-screen spouse, a role he embraced until the series' curtain call. In retrospect, Knott's Landing stands as a marvel of television tenacity, a show that defied convention, navigated economic storms, and wove actors' lives into a tapestry of narratives. Its journey might have reached its final knot, but its legacy continues to unravel in the annals of television history. 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 As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Knott's Landing, let the echoes of its stories reverberate within you. Just as the characters forged unbreakable bonds, so too have you woven a connection with this timeless series. As the curtains close on the saga that unfolded in 1979, it leaves behind a tapestry of emotions, a medley of laughter, tears, and shared moments. Take a moment to wander through the hallways of your memories, where you might find the echoes of their dreams and dilemmas. Perhaps it's the quiet reflection of Karen Fairgate's strength, or the indomitable spirit of Valene Ewing that resonates with you. Or maybe it's the intricate web of relationships, the heartaches and triumphs, that mirrors your own journey through life. As the pixels fade and the screen dims, the spirit of Knott's Landing lives on, not just as a TV series, but as a cherished part of your own narrative. It's in those stolen hours when you secretly wished you lived on Seaview Circle, or when you found solace in their struggles and victories. We invite you to share the fragments of your heart that Knott's Landing has claimed. Your stories, your interpretations, your personal crescendos, they all add to the symphony that this show has become in your life. Let your words be the bridge between then and now, between the screen and your soul. Thank you for accompanying us through this journey, for allowing the spirit of Knott's Landing to intertwine with your own. Your thoughts are gems that enrich the legacy of this series, just as your presence has enriched our digital space. So, let the memories linger and the stories resonate. Feel free to share your favorite memories or musings about Knott's Landing, for every voice adds a new layer to its enduring melody. With heartfelt appreciation for your time and your unique connection to Knott's Landing, Knott's Landing, Knott's Landing.